Hello, and welcome to the 5-Minute IEP. Today, I want to talk about the IEP goal and writing that. And we'll be discussing this topic for a few weeks. Now I want to talk about the goal itself, the heart of the goal, and, and how to write that. The number one thing is it needs to be a SMART goal. Specific, measurable, attainable, reasonable, and time-bound. We all know that, but what does it mean in practice? What's important is you need to understand where the student is now. I've seen teachers where they write something that's too easy for the student, and that's not a good goal. Or it's too hard for the student. It's not reasonable. What you need is the next step. Also, you need to be clear in what you want. If you write a vague goal, you're going to get vague results. If a student moves to another state and they pick up the IEP, they won't know what it means. Or maybe they'll measure it wrong. Sometimes I've seen where the elementary team, they know each other's language and how they write goals, so they're good. Then they go to middle school and the middle school teachers is like, well, what exactly does this mean? And how exactly can you even measure this? It becomes a little bit vague. Here's an example in math. Student will subtract with borrowing. Okay, well, what does that really mean? Does it mean one by two digit numbers? Two by two digits? Three by five digits? What, what does it mean? We need to be clear and precise to help students become successful. So we need to practice writing the right thing. We also need to make sure we don't just use a preferred goal. We need something that actually matches what the student needs, what they do. Like I talked about in the last episode, it's important to talk with people, have the goal in mind, and then talk it through. What do you think? If it makes sense, if they instantly understand, then go ahead and write that. When you're writing a goal, it's got to be clear. Will parents understand it? Can the counselor understand it? Can the principal understand it? Can the student understand it? Now, of course, we have to use precise words, but try and avoid acronyms or jargon, things that are too specific, that if we change, we're, we're stuck. Try and avoid using a specific program and only that program to, to find success, because what if you lose the license for that program? What are you gonna do? So it's important to make sure you've got that clarity that students can do it in three quarters, in a year. Make sure that the timeline feels right for students to be able to be successful. So, also, you just always have to remember, is this goal going to help students in their life? Is it going to help them achieve a lifelong goal? So, make sure that your goals are smart. Look at your goals to make sure it's very clear language and it's exactly what you want. So, that's your 5-Minute IEP tip for today. Have a great day.